Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, this is one of the few public lectures that we've held in the university to celebrate the work of our leading academics. So I'm really delighted to be able to introduce you to Professor Ed Gallion. Um, Ed is Professor of Mathematical Modeling in our School of Computing and Mathematical Science. It is, in fact, the 21st anniversary since he came <laughs> to this institution. So it, I think it's very appropriate that you should be given this lecture this evening. Thank you. Um, he came to us in 1986 when it was, of course, Thames Polytechnic as a postdoctoral student. Um, he had been before that, I think initially at Monash University where he did his undergraduate degree in Australia uh, and then did a degree, PhD degree in astrophysics uh, again in Australia. Started his career working in the private sector for Australia's largest company as a mathematical modeler. Then came to St Andrews and then on to Thames Polytechnic. In the 21 years that he's been here, he's published hundreds of papers, contributed in an enormous way to the work of the school, uh, both on the teaching side, especially postgraduate students, uh, and on the research side. He's received numerous awards for his work and is internationally known for the terribly important work that he's done in the area of plant safety. The subject of his lecture this evening is burning questions, model answers, the simulation of fire and human behavior. Ed. Thanks very much, Tessa. Thank you. And uh, thanks, everyone, uh, for making it out tonight. Uh, it's, uh, the weather's not the best outside, but uh, I really appreciate you coming along. Uh, I'm going to be giving a whirlwind tour, if you like, of fire safety engineering. I'm going to run through uh, some basic concepts of fire safety engineering, trying to convey what it is we do in fire safety engineering. And then I want to uh, talk about some of the contributions that my research group has made in this area, uh, particularly in the area of uh, what I call computational fire engineering. Uh, so we're going to run through uh, some basic concepts, show you some of the latest technologies and where these technologies are currently being used, and um, uh, hopefully finish up on some interesting local um, information. Okay, uh, as Tessa said, uh, I founded the group here at the uh, University of Greenwich in 1986, and my first job was really to try and understand the Manchester Boeing 737 fire. This is a fire that happened in uh, 1985. Uh, it was a, a board a 737 aircraft that was taxiing for takeoff. It didn't actually even take off. A fire broke out in the engine and 55 people died. And that absolutely fascinated me. How could 55 people die in an aircraft that hasn't even taken off, hasn't crashed, has been certified to allow everyone to evacuate in 90 seconds, and yet 55 people perished. And that started my interest in fire, fire engineering, and fire safety. Uh, today, the research group we have at Greenwich, we have over 30 people uh, working full-time on fire safety engineering, and some of them are, are shown in the photograph here, and quite a few of them are in the audience. Um, and some of them actually bothered some of you earlier on uh, with doing a, a survey on uh, people's understanding of aircraft evacuation. So thank you for those of you who participated in that survey and maybe we'll get some of you afterwards as well. The team that we have is rather special. In fact, it's fairly unique in the United Kingdom and actually fairly unique in the world. We are a completely multidisciplinary team. We have computational fluid dynamic specialists, we have fire engineers, we have psychologists, we have mathematicians and we have software engineers all working together. We don't go into other departments, other universities, and try and poach people. These people are working day in, day out, seven days a week, I hope, uh, <laughs> on these fire-related problems. So we understand each other, we talk to each other, and we collaborate together. And that's very, very important because fire is a multidisciplinary subject. You can't just be an engineer, you can't just be a mathematician, you can't just be a physicist or a chemist to really understand fire. 
And that's one of the unique things that my research group here at Greenwich brings, is this multidisciplinary nature. The research interests that we have include the mathematical modelling and experimental analysis of evacuation dynamics in complex spaces. So evacuation of this hall, for example. And I hope you've all noticed there are two means of escape here. Uh, we look at the pedestrian dynamics in complex spaces. So not only evacuation dynamics, but the normal movement of people through, place, through spaces into, into trying to optimise the space to make it most efficient for people to move through the environment. We look at the combustion uh, of, uh, of materials and we try and simulate using com com computational models the combustion process, the fire spread process and the smoke spread process. We also try and understand the suppression process using water mist or sprinkler systems. And um, post 9-11, uh, we're increasingly uh, doing more work in homeland security, looking at measures, anti-terrorist measures, and how we can understand um, terrorist-inspired situations and try and come up with um, uh, safe procedures to ensure that um, uh, we can live through these, these events. The other interesting thing about the group is that unlike most other research groups in this field, we don't just specialise in one area. We specialise right across the board. Basically, wherever people are involved, we're interested. It's in the built environment for buildings. It's in the aerospace industry for aircraft. It's in the maritime industry for ships and offshore installations. And it's also in the rail industry for rail rolling stock, rail carriages and so on. In fact, we've even done work in space. We've been involved in the uh, European-US Joint uh, Space Station looking at fires in microgravity environments. So basically wherever you have people, we're interested in, in the issue to do with fire and safety and evacuation. Okay, now before we start, uh, I want to try and get some idea of uh, your perception of fire. And I want to run through a very simple um, survey I'm going to do with the audience here, live survey. It's the first time I've tried to do this. Let's see if it works. This is um, the Station Nightclub in Rhode Island, United States. Um, there was a devastating fire in this building on the 20th of February 2003. And we're going to talk about this fire throughout this presentation. But before we do that, I want to try and get a feel if you understand issues to do with, uh, with fire and how fire spreads. The building was quite a large building. It was uh, 24 metres by 21 metres. You can see it um, here. Uh, it's about 412 square metres. And the fire actually started on the stage here. Okay. Now, I don't want the fire engineers in the audience to answer this question. I want everyone else to answer the question. So fire engineers, I assume you know the answers, so please don't, uh, don't put your hands up. Okay. You're going to have to earn your supper here. 